Hey folks, and welcome back to Rustic Waters. So, uh, I've done some tidying up, and uh, we now have an extremely low roof over our heads. This is part of me trying to um, to encourage my uh, creative juices to flow. <laughs> um, the reason for this is because submarines are very cramped. Uh, and they're very cramped because they are trying to make use of every inch of space that they have. Um, so part of the feeling that I want um, in the base is um, maximizing the use of space and also making it feel kind of claustrophobic, um, ideally. Uh, and I'm cooking up some copper here because one of the quests that I want to do is I want to get one of these furnaces to be as useful as possible as soon as possible. And I got bed bugs because I got six stone. When you die, you don't lose items in your inventory. Instead, all armor, tools, etc. will lose 60% of their max durability. Any RF-powered items such as jetpacks or inventory charges will lose 80% of their charge. So, while a Graves mod isn't really needed in this, this pack, you... I feel that it, this is pretty interesting because it's an interesting way to punish death while not also taking away all the player's hard work. Make sure to keep your armor and tools in good shape. Dying while they are already below 60% durability may result in them breaking. True. I'm going to get like, some opesium um, for doing that. Because that will allow us to make a hearth stone. Which the hearth stone links you to your spawn point, bed. It must be used sparingly as it has a 30 minute cooldown. It also cannot be used in a pinch as you must channel the cast rate seconds before you are teleported. You must shift click on your bed to set your hearth point. We will make that ASAP. Uh, where is that six stone that I had? Use the Opesium. And we link our bed. First stone now linked. So we can teleport back to our base as long as we're not in danger. Um, and that's great. So I'm going to take some copper, and then I'm also going to start immediately cooking up eight silver. Uh, and we're going to break you. And we are going to turn you into a copper furnace. Now, bully man, please. <laughs> please. Please redo the textures. You did the texture so nicely for the base furnace. Um, by reusing a chisel block. Please that for the copper furnace and so on because wow they are they are low effort textures dev art to be sure iron furnace so if we look at the quest that i just completed by doing that by the way now that you're pulling in all resources you will want a quicker way to process them craft upgraded furnace though this quest only requires a copper furnace you can upgrade it even further as desired copper 20 percent faster iron 40 percent faster but consumes 30 percent more fuel silver 40 percent faster but no extra fuel consumption gold 50 percent faster 40 percent more fuel and prismarine 40 percent faster can smelt two different items we want to get to silver um because silver does not have the extra fuel consumption um and it will make things so much better for us. So we're just going to wait until this last one is done. I think you can also make a diamond furnace, which is basically the gold furnace without the, um, without the fuel consumption. Um, but it's eight diamonds around a gold furnace. So we're going to settle for a silver right now. Cool. Oh, and as for where I got all of that from, simply processing uh, sand, dirt, and gravel in the sluice. Um, and that's where we got that all that from. So this is great because now we can make a super good use of our mini coal. Um, or mini charcoal, sorry. We're gonna break all that up. And just slap that in there. Slaps the top of the silver furnace. This furnace can fit so many mini coal. Right? Right? Good jokes. Good memes. Um, so this is a 40% faster furnace, which is cool. Um, now, let's go back to doing some questy quests. Oh, good. Yeah, can top you off. And we'll put that in there. Until we can get it upgraded. 
So, next. Funny funnels. Grinding it out. Tool refining. Pump it up. And, so, and some pipe it hot. We're going to get in here and take this treasure chest. Because who knows what we get out of this. We got an fire reinforced bow and five gill. Sweet. I put the gill in here. Um, and we could make a juicer which will make better use of our apples so we should actually do that but I have no stone I do now uh, do you have any extra stone no so actually let's go back here <laughs> so you can see everything that we're picking up here is plastic waste prismarine ember shards gravel clay white wool ice dirt Carrots, gunpowder, fish bones, sand, redstone. Uh, anything different in here? No. And then the dense one is also getting different kinds of fish. So raw fish, puffer fish, salmon. It's also getting rat pelts, um, turds, which are, <laughs> believe it or not, very useful. Um, clownfish, phyto grow, dollar coins, and so on. So, uh, oh, and sugar cane. But uh, yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, we want that stone because we want to turn one into a pressure plate. And a juicer. And now, make apple juice. Which is a heck of a lot better than what we had. Um, and now, I'm going to check something. How many? We've got seven sprouts. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if we can do... We can. Alright. Are you even going to grow down there though? Hopefully. Um, I will not be afraid to make extra space, but you'll see it's going to be... It's going to be interesting how we do the extra space thing. Um, now I'd like to see if we've gathered enough extra oak wood. I've been using a lot of oak wood just for some aesthetic purposes, but we're going to continue with that theme because I want this water sound to stop ASAP um, bring it out here and later on we'll just exchange out this basic planks for treated wood um, and I think that will be very cool we're going to eventually replace the prismarine and quite clear glass and it'll look a lot more sub subnautical um rather than kind of prismarine and glass and clear and whatnot um it's just in the meantime i need uh i need to use the resources i've got <laughs> so um we can probably get to the hub today easy let's do um some pipe it hot for that we will need to cook up some sand which this, I think, is not enough. I think I need at least eight sand, because six of the sand is going to be used to make panes. Uh, that's good enough. We'll just cook all of the sand into glass. We could use some of it to make ore, but I think we our stocks of ore are good enough for now. In, in var. Put the tin bow away. Um, yeah. Oh, let's make glass panes. Oh, I didn't even take the juicer out of there. <laughs> and one more. Even 40% extra speed feels too slow sometimes. Is that not the pipette recipe? Pipe it. Oh, it's two panes. I was wrong. I could have done it with seven glass. Um, some pipe it hot. Claim. Treasure chest. We get three erothium. Pressurized fuel conduit. Conduit That might actually come in handy early game. And a couple of elevators. That is going to be very useful. I'm just going to break you. That is an awesome quest reward. I'd like to install stairs and stuff in, in the submarine more than using elevators but for now this will be very useful and uh, put the erothium the self-resetting lever all right 
uh, and the pressure and all of this in here actually don't need any of it that was some pipette hot pipettes can be used to remove or add fluid to artisan tables even if it's not a full bucket convenient for swapping out recipe fluids without waste if you don't care about saving fluid in the table you can also sneak click the fluid GUI to empty it ye um and this is important because you can only store one fluid in here and you have to toss it back and forward with your bucket if you don't um one trick that i've come up with is if i've got creosote in here and i need a um purified water recipe and i don't have a second table i just take the um creosote out of here and put it in my tailor's workshop because none of the fluids interact in the tailor's workshop at least not in the early game um so let's do pump it up while there are no infinite water machines available at this stage of the game, you can use a water pump to help you in your automations. Place it right above a body of water and use a lever to give it a redstone signal. It will fill adjacent tanks. Fluid dials can be slapped on the front of most fluid containers to give you information at a quick glance. So we get a fluid dial as a, as a um, recipe thing here. So we use lead, a funnel, stone gears, and tempered glass. So funny funnel we're going to have to do before we do pump it up so let's do that we want a tank in a funnel uh, we have quite a bit of iron so let's do let's do 16 for now 8 in you and 8 in you and I'm going to prep another 8 do I have eight more silver? I don't, but we may as well prep the um, the materials so that we can make that eventually anyway. So take you, because we need a bucket. A second bucket. It's part of the recipe. Take you and you. That will allow us to make the funnel. Funnel is like a liquid based hopper and need one more thank you make tank no we need three more because that has a another bucket at the bottom well I can sacrifice this bucket for now because <laughs> I can just do that Ah, mouse, please. Ah, okay. So that finishes that. It will actually allow us to get a golden bucket, which is a bucket that fits four. And I will take this. This is in case we lose our hearthstone. Um. Oh, eating healthy diet will give you positive status effects. You can access your nutrition panel via the button on your inventory GUI. Percentages for each food group are listed on most food items. So at 75 plus nutrition, we get night vision, 80 resistance, 90 strength. Um, and that is here. So we're kind of not close to any of that, but we will eventually work our way up there. Um, so we can do something very useful right now which is how is this going um except i need the funnel so i need actually two funnels um so i'm going to take this i know i was going to use that for a furnace but i want two funnels because so i want to set something up plus make the pump um right so uh, I would like you to be kind of close to the water for now. Let's do this. I need eight more wood. I'm going to point this funnel here. I'm going to chop you down. I'm going to put you there, I'm going to put this here, um, and this is, this is all explained in Funny Funnels, but I think it's easier to show you what I'm doing, um, I'm going to quickly cook you up, 
where we have some purified water. So these tanks go along with this fluid funnel. Uh, they just store a certain amount of fluid, but the, the funnel can pull from that. But the funnel has a very special function, which is I just put purified water in there. If I put an empty bucket, the empty bucket gets turned into a purified water bucket. So remember last episode when I was talking about efficiency for that? Um, bingo, <laughs> right? Uh, I need some more stone. Please and thank you. How much cobble do I have left? I would like another furnace. I have five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to smush this up into cobble, turn you into a furnace, and we'll just stick you like here for now. Um, and that will mean that if I want to make some purified, I'm just going to steal 64 coal from you, thanks. If I want more purified water, I just fill up my golden bucket, I throw it in there. And then I throw it in the tank next to it, right? And um, for completing that quest, uh, no, it's for completing the pump quest, whoops, uh, we get the fluid dial, which I'm going to stick on the tank so I have an idea of how much purified water I have left. Um, I happen to know we have eight. <laughs> One in here, I think, and then seven in there. Uh, but we will make the pump now. The pump, 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 pump it up, needs four lead. I have four lead, I do. Pop you in there. I'm going to break you because copper does not have a, um, you're not punished for fuel. So we can have the upgrade of the copper furnace and, and not, damage our fuel supplies by using it. And then we wanted three tempered glass. So this will be a lesson in crafting. I need more sand. Good. We will make, I don't know, three Impressed sand, then we light the ground on fire. <laughs> this is a little scary with the, the planks right there, but I, we should be all right. And that has turned into tempered glass. I can put that fire out. Yep, we're all right. No fires. Um, and we should be good to make the what about? No, we need a stone gear. Perfect amount of stone. That is not how you make a stone gear. I'm sorry. It is how you make a stone gear, but you make it in here. Not in the trader's table. Stone gear. Okay. What a pump. Cool. And that rest of that tempered glass will come in handy later on. Don't you worry. Um, you can live in there. Pump, pump, pump it up. Oh, that's right. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we'll put you there. Yeah, seven purified water. So we'll have one down there and we can fit 10 buckets. So, you know what? Why don't we top this off? Thank you. Um, there's a quest later on that gives you a diamond pickaxe for this very reason, but it might be a bit further on, even here maybe, bully brew, thanks, uh, this one, yeah, we have to make a steam hammer, and it's made in a blacksmith's workshop, we may actually get round to that this episode, now that I've accidentally placed this in the extremely wrong uh, position, um, I might make that a priority. So, 
Let's put some of this stuff away. You need to go back in there. Something I really dislike about artisans, which I, I hope Code Tailored gets to, is that when a recipe gets swapped out of here by via JEI, tools will pop into your inventory instead of into this storage area. Um, or into a, a attached mechanical toolbox. Uh, but we are so close to actually getting this. We want to get one orange coal, one pink coal, and one cyan. It is important that you overcome any hesitation to venture into the water. Get your feet wet right now by collecting some coral from the ocean floor. For being so brave, you will get your first hub expansion controller key, HEC key. Further keys can be obtained when you complete the quest tab noted with key. Remember, each HEC key is a one-time use. Select the wall in which you would like to expand out from and right-click the lock with your key. Cool. So let's do that. We have an Envir bow to protect us. We go down to the ocean surface. I could get a bully brew and drink that, but uh, I've decided not to. So there. So we want a cyan, an orange, and a pink. Gif. Great. Let's get back up to the base. So as you can see, our oxygen system uh, situation isn't amazing. Um, can I actually do anything with coral? I can use it as a dye directly. Okay, so we may as well keep it. Um, we didn't need our defense, but that's cool. Let's pick up our first hub controller key. And so, which way do we want to expand? Out this way, out this way out this way <laughs> we've got four directions to choose from i think a sub a submarine is longer than it is wide so we're going to only end up using two keys so whatever way we use now is going to be the direction our sub faces um i want to face the most boring direction because then if we look out the submarine windows we'll see the most entertaining stuff i think we go in this direction Oop. so that is our first expansion and cool <laughs> that simple uh i'm gonna eat a foot long i'm gonna take more apples and now the quests open up um, in a big way, which is very cool. Something else I like over DDSS, I will never let DDSS die in my mind. It seems like, just let it go. Rosie, why can't you let it go? I can't let it go because it haunts my dreams. <laughs> um. Excuse? Oh, I can't open that because you're above it. Of course. All right, well, go there. That's got some nice symmetry to it. It's going to fill you up. I can put you in here. No, you in there. And you can live in there for when I need it. And we'll just keep the gold bucket on us. So, what do we do? I think we go for the steam hammer first, but things have opened up for us in a big way. Um, grinding it out and tool refining are still things that I want to get into, um, as well as furry friends. Furry friends is probably something we should focus on as well, but I really want that steam hammer so that I can get that diamond pickaxe. Uh, resource intense. Side note. This pack is resource intense. As you may have already gathered, recipes require a lot more re resources than normal. This is true. For that reason, the pack is balanced to give you a lot more resources. From strainers to ember quarries to void miners, do not hesitate to craft more for later when you come across quests asking for plates, pipes, and other components. It will save you trips back to the crafting table to make items. Tip. Note that not all resources come from strainers or from ember quarry. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. We do need to, if it's gonna be like this, um, we need 
well we'll just go back to the standard theme gosh um here now we can read it some resources require you to manually mine them at least until you get more capable quarries lapis diamonds emeralds and omega ore can be found in the nether infinity ore is found in many planets all over the void in the end as you progress these areas will open up for your exploration tick detect thanks right we're definitely going to need the blacksmith's table so we're going to need more iron that's how that's going to go so please to be giving me more iron ah cool and i'll be back once i have that iron okay so i did a bunch of stuff with the mic muted <laughs> um so let's explain what i did since i got back from making some iron is it iron not sure anyway we've made a steam hammer uh i had to get some lead for that which came from sand um and that allowed us to move the pump with this diamond pickaxe we got as a quest reward um we had to make an artisan's hammer which needs to live in there uh yay cool <laughs> and uh we made an iron plate as a test run for how this thing works coal goes in there uh water goes in here and once that hits the correct temperature that starts converting the water to steam steam is the fuel um so that's cool uh and i guess i actually got to the end of the episode <laughs> so i'm a little taken aback but i realize now that i should do some more recording because y'all had like 15 minutes of nothing um if i don't so we're gonna get into fairy friends because furry friends is amazing and you'll love it and it's the cutest thing ever but we need a cauldron first cauldron which we will put here that can gives us a cow in a jar and a bucket nice and put the iron back put the cow in the jar down there and the cow in the jar is going to start getting us some milk but then we need to make cheese. Your car, cow in a jar. Should learn to. Now that you are setting up a strainer in a sluice operation, you may need some help around your hub automating a few processes. Yes, these murky waters are filled with rats who have held up in shipwrecked ruins. Let's try to lure a few of them in. They are smart animals and could be of use. Uh, and then the next one is your cow in a jar is slowly building up a vat of milk for you bucket it out for use in recipes in this case cheese fill a cauldron with milk and let it sit for a few minutes or curdle into cheese the best bait for shipwreck rats it's not actually a few minutes it's more like uh, 30 seconds but that's fine and we still need to wait around a little bit before we can do that so is there something we can do in the meantime Maybe we make a grindstone because uh, this will come in handy in the future. We're going to need a tripwire hook, which I have. We're going to need a flint, specifically a flint uh, saw. I'm going to get three of each because I cannot remember this recipe. Grindstone, flint, it's two flint. Good. And then seven stone. We have seven stone. We do. Are you in here? You are. Grindstone. Uh, you can live here. Slowly working on the whole cramped situation. Crank. Okay. So, grindstone will assist you in making alloy blends. It requires a crank in the top and must be turned manually, but it will suffice until you get a powered automation. True. Um, do we have a belt packet? Yes, we do. Put you in there. We have more stone, because that will allow us to, um, get us a mechanical doohickey. We don't have enough. I'm going to need 20 stone. There we go. Already done. Block of cheese. 
we'll claim that. We get a rat platter upgrade for it. Cheesing the hunt. You need to lace the cheese with a bit of pungent stench to really draw in the rats. Many of the sea creatures, including squids and sharks, will drop some of their droppings upon death. Round up a few of these fresh twisties to make the cheese stronger. Using your newly acquired bow, prismarine arrows, and bullies, bro, you should be able to pick off some sea life with ease. It's true, but we don't need to because we have collected some already in our strainers. Specifically this strainer. So we'll get a rat lumberjack upgrade for that one. Um, Fumunda? Where? Whip up a bit of Fumunda cheese at the farmer's table. Place it on the ground. When you break it open, you will likely find a rat has already burrowed inside. You may want to create a small enclosure so the rat does not get away. Be careful, there is a small chance you can catch to play rat. Ooh. And we'll get an extra breath upgrade for this one. So this is going to allow us to get our very first rat. Um, but we will want a very small enclosure, which we have these nice aluminum fences. Actually, I wonder if they'll be able to get through. They can get through wooden stuff, but I don't know whether they can get through something named fence because, well, it's a fence, right? Um, in Minecraft terms, a fence indicates that it's got holes in it. So maybe, maybe we just, no, they can tunnel through wood. Can tunnel through a lot of stuff, guys. <laughs> um, I'd like to make some stone walls, but I just don't have the cobble or the stone for it. Um, maybe what we do Maybe what we do is, can they get through terracotta? I very much doubt they can get through terracotta. What the heck happened there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And then I'm gonna make some trap doors. So they can't get through trap doors for some reason. Okay, and then please make me some terracotta. Because hopefully they can't get through terracotta. They definitely can't get through prismarine, so I could have dug out some of this stuff because we're going to end up replacing it anyway. While we're waiting, let's make sure we keep making more cheese because we're going to need loads of cheese. So much cheese. Okay, that's enough. Do that and that and this. No, that is the wrong thing. Thank you, mouse. And this. Okay, that should work just fine. <laughs> right. Um. Actually, how do I get through? Now I can get through the other way, but I can't get through this way now. Uh, anyway, I need to make the Formunda cheese. Let's do exactly that. Formunda cheese. Stinky cheese. Right. So. Um. You can probably get up and over this, but until I'm... Excuse me. That soundproofing is making things so awkwardly quiet. <laughs> okay, Formunda cheese. Place. It is so stinky. Now we break it. Oh. You drop a spawn rat egg. That's a lot more handy because now I can wait until I'm ready to um, tame you. Right. <laughs> you didn't know that was a thing you can do? Now you do. Um, it works in both directions, provided you don't have something above your head on this side. Um, but I do, so it doesn't. I need to turn you into cheese. 
We ran out of knife. Chop your cheese into slices on your farmer's table work farmer's work table. Drop cheese to the rat to tame it. It can only take a dozen or it can take a dozen or more slices to tame a rat. Once tamed, you can right click your rat to open its inventory. They can use helms and weapons along with upgrades. You can pick up your rat on your shoulder by sneak right clicking them. You can set them down in by your feet by sneak right clicking the air. We get four rat cages for our trouble. So I'm gonna start putting these rat upgrades in here. And this and that and some of this stuff because it's just all kind of filling up my inventory. And now we need a new knife. So slab and two iron. There was a quest that gave me a diamond knife earlier on, but I think that was because it was a um an earlier version of the pack. So okay. So I've never actually had to craft a new knife. <laughs> uh, I don't need to turn you into sticks. We have plenty. Stick and two string. Speaking of string, there is something else I should check. Do we have? We do. So we're going to break this. And we're going to swap it out for a new spider web sampling because they give you the same results it's just that you know um one gives you apples the other gives you string and uh, right now we just grow apples like that okay so uh knife traders table um my buckets go here milk Cauldron. More slices of cheese. Okay, 12 might be enough. I've been super unlucky with rats before, so <sighs> did it again. <laughs> oh, there was another cheese. I heard it. You guys can't. And you know what? I'm I'm totally just gonna. Excuse me. So I can barely hear anything. There's nothing going on. And that also has told me that I should probably, because I personally don't listen to the Minecraft music normally, but uh, probably do that for the sake of future episodes. Um, and we'll put the prismarine back where it belongs. I'd like to just have some sound effects, you know? Rat, cheese, I didn't end up getting this. Cut. Thanks. More cheese. Close. Right. Spawn rat. Let's get ourselves a cutie and that will be the end of the episode. Look at that cutie! Hello cutie! Come to me. Be my friend. Eat the cheese. Mmm, cheese. Eat the cheese. Eat more cheese. But like, you should eat more cheese though. You should eat cheese until you are my friend. That is basically where we're at. Help yourself. One of these days you're gonna be my friend, I swear. Or I might just get supremely unlucky and you're going to eat all this cheese and still not be my friend. Eat the cheese. Hey, you're my friend. It took almost all my food, but you did it. So we got a dude rat and you can set their current commands to wander, stay here, follow me, hunt prey, gather items, harvest, transport items, and that's it and it will tell you what his status is and if i shift right click and then go in f5 he's in my head so he's a cutie and wait 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 do it do the thing do the thing that makes you the cutest but you should 
Yes. Cleans himself. Oh my god, little ratty hands. Have you seen little ratty hands in real life? Listen. Rats don't carry the plague anymore. They can still be dirty when they're wild. They're just, you know. But domesticated rats, they're just cute as... Got, like little hands, and they do things with their little hands. Oh my god, guys. That's why this mod is the best. End of story. Now we can break this. Rat proofing. The raw axe way. Maybe that. Maybe that'll do. And that way I can actually get through. <laughs> yeah, actually that will work. I can get through both ways now. Should have done that from the start. Never mind. Um, more milk. Oh jeez. Okay, so we have ourselves a little ratty. We got a rat cage, and now we can put the rat cage. Um, oh, we put the rat cage here, and then I'm gonna shift right click the air. And he did not leave our body. He's still on our head inside the planks. <laughs> But we've deposited him in here and he's adorable and we're gonna keep making more cheese because so we're gonna get more rats is the end of that story but i think that will be the end of this episode so thank you all for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye